In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about IELTS writing task two on just one piece of paper. So when you see the question on test day, you're going to start to panic and get stressed out. And it really doesn't need to be that way. Producing a band seven, eight or even nine essay is actually very straightforward and simple if you follow what I'm going to teach you in this session. And not only will I just summarize it on one piece of paper, you can actually summarize exactly what you need to do in one sentence. So instead of starting with the question, what we're going to do is start at the end. Start with a very high level essay. What does that look like? Well, a very good essay, say, let's say at a band seven, eight or nine, clearly answers the question in a logical way using accurate and appropriate language. If you do that, you will get a high score. So what we're going to do now is show you step by step how to produce an essay of this quality and do these things effectively. So the first stage is what we call the thinking stage. Why is this so important? Well, you have to demonstrate that you can clearly answer the question. So the first step is to actually understand the question. If you do not understand the question, you will never be able to clearly answer the question. So take some time, think about what they are actually asking you to do. And then and only then should you move on to the next step, which is to generate or think of relevant ideas that help you clearly answer the question. So everything is designed to help you satisfy the requirements of this sentence. But it is not just testing whether you can think of relevant ideas. You have to construct your essay and put it into your essay in a very logical way. Logical means that it makes sense, that it's easy to read, that when the examiner reads it, they understand what you were thinking at this stage. So the next stage is planning, because this is going to help us write in a logical, structured, clear way. So what we want to do is we want to insert our ideas into a structure that helps you answer the question in a logical way. So you're taking a structure that has been produced by someone who knows what they're doing and has helped thousands of students get a high score. You're going to take that and then you're going to put your ideas into that structure. So in general, that is going to look something like this. First thing you're going to do is write your introduction. And the first thing you're going to do is to paraphrase the question. What this does, when you paraphrase the question, it helps the examiner know that you have clearly understood the question. Because if you don't understand the question, you cannot paraphrase it. And then you're going to briefly answer the question. So you're simply introducing the answer to the question. Why do we do that? Because that helps you clearly demonstrate that you have understood the question, that you're answering the question. And to do that is a very logical thing to do. And then you go into detail in your main body. This is normally going to be two main body paragraphs. And what will be included in those are our topic sentence, which is the main idea of the paragraph. Explain how does that idea answer the question? So go into detail here and then you can help the example, help the examiner by putting an example in there that further demonstrates that you have clearly understood the question and you're clearly answering it in a logical way. And well, there will normally be two main body paragraphs. And then the conclusion, all we're doing in the conclusion is we're going to summarize our main points. So we're going to summarize the main points of the essay. Why do we do this? Because it helps the examiner understand that you've clearly answered the question in a logical way. I know I've repeated this like 17 times now. The reason why I do this is when you really get this into your head, it makes writing your essay so much easier. And the last part of this sentence using accurate and appropriate language. Well, what does this mean? Only use language that helps you clearly answer the question. Do not use language that you're not comfortable using and do not use memorized language that is not related to the actual question. Only use language that helps you clearly answer the question in a logical way. And your language should be accurate. So as few mistakes as possible 
and it should be appropriate. Are you using topic specific language to answer the question that helps you clearly convey your message to the examiner? Or are you just memorizing a bunch of high level words and shoving them into your essay? That will make your essay less clear. And just to emphasize that, only use language you already know how to use. If you have a choice between using a simpler word that you fully understand and is going to be accurate and appropriate, or using a more high level word or structure or grammatical structure that you're not sure about, use the simpler one because it is going to help you clearly answer the question in a logical way using accurate and appropriate language. If all you do is that, you're dramatically increasing your chances of getting a seven, eight, or even nine.